They died where they stood, these veterans of the cut. Two hundred years ago, the narrow canal spread like a spider's web across the face of rural England, making possible the miracle of the Industrial Revolution. Then came the trains, the narrowboats with their owner skippers, the number ones as they were called upon the cut, and their gay gypsy tradition started to decline. Now they are no more. The boatman's cabin is empty. Gone are the bright-eyed children, the shining horse brasses, the beribboned lace plates, and the great glorious Misham tea urns. On the sagging doors, the rose petals peel, and the castles crumble. The axe has fallen, and the heron will fly no more. This should have been the end. But up and down the country, a new generation of number ones sprang up. Men and women who repainted and rebuilt the old narrow boats and who banded together to keep alive the history and tradition. On a chilly Easter weekend, they set sail for their first reunion at the little Northamptonshire village of Stoke Brewer. In a changing world, the roses are indeed being revived. Overhead, the pylons now spread across the countryside from the power stations where once the narrowboats brought their fuel. And always the locks. The old paddles creak and groan. The water rushes in and out past the ever-patient angler sitting beside the bridge. On up the flight of locks, with more locks ahead, more balance beams to swing, more windlasses to turn. Alongside the locks lies the pattern of our transport history, the modern motorway, the dying railway and below them, the reborn waterway. Old feet and young upon the ancient path. Old tillers glinting in the springtime sun. Here the canal sweeps high on its aqueduct over the trees and over the road. and always the roses. The last tunnel looms ahead now, into the darkness and on to the distant light. Then out into the sunshine and on to Stoke Bruin.
And here at last the boats will gather, here in this old canal side village beside the National Canal Museum. Around them, the colourful reminders of the boat has passed. boats in their new form with their new number ones. These then are the inheritors. To them has passed the task of reviving the roses and of rebuilding the castle. And it is for them to keep alive the ancient tradition of the old working boats.